Atheist Republic Persian YouTube channel hits 15,000 subscribers. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a huge deal. Like, maybe to some people, 15,000 doesn't sound like a lot, but in, like, the Persian online community like this is actually we're really starting to grow and we're really starting to get substantial and um i wanted to talk about how proud i am of atheist republic for the programming that we do in farsi <laughs> gossip is saying <"Woo> <laughs> um i was i was thinking about this um i think honestly i think what we do for the Farsi speaking community of Atheist Republic is one of the things I'm most proud of Atheist Republic for. Oh. Um, I think it is such a valuable service that we are providing to people to bring these ideas um, that we value uh, to people in a language that they understand best and in a community that is very open and very curious and welcoming. Um, and I have so much affection uh, and deep appreciation for so many people who are involved in making our Farsi speaking community what it is. Um, simply because they care and they believe in it so much. Like we have so many people that commit so much time to providing so many different aspects of the team and the services that go into making it what it is. And um, like just just all the little pieces, you know, that add up to the, the big thing, uh, the, the gestalt of it. Like um, I, I don't know. It means so much to me. Like Baba Gossam here in the live chat, Arash, Navid, Armin has been committing so much time to it lately. And all our other administrators like Negar, Nilufar, like there's so many people who um, are so passionate about, I don't know, the community that we have there and providing a space for people to um, be able to be themselves. I, I'm really, really proud of uh yeah jumhuri behodayan and i'm so happy that we reached this big milestone yeah and also we're go we're going to have some shows coming up featuring um some of the lgbt members of our uh community on the persian side to introduce nice. more people about in lgbt concepts and yeah so that's going to be fun yeah we have so much fun there i wish you guys could see what we're doing <laughs> it's like there's, I a know. Lot, there's a lot that is happening there there's a lot of drama there's a lot of i don't know fun stuff we have we have big shows and we bring experts and then we have after parties it's pretty insane yeah yeah like i sometimes think on the english channel we should have a segment where we talk about the drama on the persian channel mm -hmm. i don't i don't know if it would be interesting to anyone except me <laughs> but i love it <laughs> um, every day I'm like, Armin, what's the latest? What's going on? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. It just really touches my heart. Like I love, um, I was speaking to Babak recently and he was talking about how, especially in like the community, he thinks it's so important to provide a space for people where there aren't red lines where they can question things openly where they can talk about taboos and people are not going to demonize them. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy about what we have going on over there and I'm glad we got this opportunity oh. to highlight it. Oh, well, thank you. That's very sweet. <laughs> oh, but guys, sometimes when we have on secular jihadists, we have news about things that are happening in Iran on the Persian side, we literally go and invite the people. Like, I don't know if you guys know, like, oh, yeah, it's not loading. It's fine. Anyways, we basically go and uh, invite the people who actually made the news happen on the show. Yeah. Exactly. 
anyways. Oh, there we go. What do you like the most about the Farsi community, Armin? Um, the Farsi speaking community. I am. Um, oh, I I like what I like is a, is the level of influence that we're we're having. You know what I mean? Like it seems it's a uh, we're as percentage wise over there like. 15k is a bigger deal than 15k mm -hmm. on the English side. You know what I mean? And it's I huge. think like, yeah, and, yeah. And I also think like over there, we're now being recognized as difference makers. Like people know us. People know that we're making a difference. People are encouraging us. People are supporting us. Um, so relatively, I think like I don't know if people understand the the impact that we're having is being it's being noticed, which is good. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, this is the two, you know, this is one of the shows that we have had. We had invited two guests. These are, uh, this is like, so Bobak is kind of like uh, what Susanna uh, does here. Bobak does that on the Persian side. So that's Bobak. And these are our two guests, for example. Mm -hmm. This was a, yeah, this was such a fun episode, by the way. I don't know if we could explain that, but yeah. So yeah, that's fun. We enjoy. <laughs> Gossip is saying we are pissing on red lines. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, thank you, Susanna, for highlighting that. That's very nice. Well, thank you for all the work that you do, and everyone else on the the Persian speaking side. You guys work hard, and you've been like committing so much energy towards that over the past few months. It's really making a difference. Yeah. Doorknob is saying, nice, good news. Good news is nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hashtag team, hashtag team Farsi. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.